Hi. Today we'll be discussing the truth about canned tuna in dieting. As we all know, canned tuna is a staple meal in many kitchens. It is primarily a proteinous food packed and quite inexpensive. It has good features of lasting for several years in the pantry without getting spoilt. But despite these benefits, you may be wondering the truth that I'm about to unveil about canned tuna. Eating canned tuna is putting our health in danger because it can cause mercury poisoning, scombroid poisoning, and BPA toxicity. In terms of mercury poisoning this is also called hydrargyria. Mercury poisoning is mostly caused by consuming food that contains high heavy metals which is a known neurotoxin. All fish have some concentration of mercury in them, but the level of concentration varies widely. The consumption of canned tuna is discouraged because of the relatively high levels of mercury it contains. Its consumption could potentially become harmful when it's above three servings in a week, said Andrea Paul, MD, the medical advisor to Illuminate Labs. When a person is affected with mercury poisoning, they tend to notice some symptoms which include itching, a pins and needles feeling in the toes and fingertips, muscle weakness, lack of coordination, speech and hearing impairment with reduced peripheral vision. If a pregnant woman has a high mercury level, it can result in a disorder of the central nervous system in their babies. According to Medical News Today, it is discovered that as the young child's brain develops, it tends to rapidly absorb nutrients and mercury that will cause learning disabilities, developmental delays, and cognitive problems such as cerebral palsy and blindness. In addition to the effects of mercury poisoning, it can lead to tremors, numbness of the extremities, and difficulty in walking. Do you know that constantly taking canned tuna can affect a person's fertility rate? In 2019, a study revealed that when a person is exposed to mercury, it could lead to induced impairments in reproductive function. If you're pregnant, you should consider opting for low mercury fish like salmon or you can include some plant-based tuna in your diet. Tuna is made out of nutritionally raw materials such as a blend of pea protein, chickpea flour, soy protein concentrate, lentil protein, and navy bean powder. It does taste just like the real thing, but it has some effects in the long run. It also leads to high blood pressure. Fresh fish serves as a great source of protein and heart-healthy omega-3 fatty acids, but canned tuna isn't healthy for those that have high blood pressure. At an average of 200 to 300 milligrams of sodium per serving, anyone who is suffering from heart disease or diabetes shouldn't risk eating the canned tuna. The nutritionist Cassidy Gunderson, Ph.D., who helps her clients to manage their chronic diseases through food said, Consuming a lot of canned tuna, along with other foods that are very high in sodium like canned soups, baked goods, and other processed meals, increases the risk of having high blood pressure, kidney disease, diabetes, and sleep apnea. Tuna might be healthy enough to eat at the beginning but when stored for a while, that's when the effects occur. Whether the canned tuna is packed in oil or water can affect its nutritional content. They get to contain a high amount of calories and fat when packed in oil than when packed in water. Canned tuna has higher sodium content than fresh tuna and its nutrient content varies between the different brands based on how tuna is packed so it is best to check the label. Canned tuna has some bad effects, but it as well contains some good nutritional value and has some good effects. It contains DHA, which is a type of omega-3 fatty acid that is particularly important for the health of the brain and eye health. Whether fresh or canned tuna, they both are good sources of several essential vitamins and minerals, which includes vitamin D, selenium, and iodine. If you want to lose weight, you can eat canned tuna because it is low in calories yet high in protein. Despite being low in fat, canned tuna is still considered a good source of omega-3 fatty acids which are essential dietary fats that are beneficial for heart, eye, and brain health. 
After considering the bad and good effects of canned tuna, the Dietary Guidelines for Americans currently recommends that adults should consume just about 8 ounces that are 227 grams of seafood per week. Eating canned tuna is a very nice easy way to increase the omega-3s in your diet. In addition to the healthy fats, canned tuna also serves as a good source of several vitamins and minerals, most especially vitamin D and selenium because at times tuna eat other small fish that might already have been contaminated with mercury, this rate of the mercury may become concentrated in the tuna. It is discovered that in adults, people who have consumed high mercury fish at least once a week have a high level of elevated mercury levels and they are more likely to experience fatigue than normal. It is also noted that adults should limit their intake of canned tuna that is made from albacore to 1 4 ounce, which is 113 gram or a serving per week, because of its high concentration of mercury. In children, research shows that mercury exposure is very toxic to a developing child's nervous system, so for this reason, caregivers should limit the canned tuna that they feed infants and young children. According to the Food and Drug Administration FDA, it is reported that children between ages 2 to 10 can take up to 1 ounce meaning 28 grams of the low mercury fish, which includes the light and skipjack canned tuna, with a serving of about 2 to 3 times per week. The health authorities also said that during the first year of an infant, he shouldn't be given canned tuna fish at all. Early exposure to the canned meal causes high asthma and eczema. Currently, there are no recommendations for the number of canned tuna infants should take in, so it's better to ask a pediatrician how much of a canned tuna can you can safely introduce to your baby and as to what age the child can begin to eat the canned meal. However, the FDA recommends that pregnant women who are currently breastfeeding should avoid fishes that are high in mercury. The intake of albacore canned tuna shouldn't be more than 4 ounces meaning 113 grams per week. Canned tuna often contains a higher amount of salt than fresh tuna. So if your healthcare provider recommended that you should reduce your salt intake, you may as well want to choose brands that are lower in salt. As for the can, some of it contains bisphenol A which is as well known as BPA. There is an industrial chemical that can be used in the lining of cans to help prevent the metal from corroding or breaking and all of these aren't healthy for the body. To prevent being infected with BPA, you should choose BPA-free cans for your canned meal. You can as well always inspect your cans for any signs of spoilage or contamination, such as sharp dents, cracking, leaking, or bulging. If you get a notice that any of the cans have some strange signs or the contents have an off smell or color, it is best advised for a person to throw them out to avoid potential foodborne illness. Due to these potential effects, you may want to choose BPA-free cans. However, scientists need to do more research on BPA and its effects on humans. Finally, always inspect your cans for any signs of spoilage or contamination, such as sharp dents, cracking, leaking, or bulging. If you can have any of these signs or the contents have an off smell or color, it is best to throw them away to avoid potential foodborne illness in the long run. If you don't mind having to pay a little bit for your peace of mind, then you should consider the Safe Catch brand of canned fish. With a proprietary technology that the company founders have invented over time, Safe Catch happens to test every tuna and salmon mercury level before purchasing them. It is discovered that the company's Safe Catch Elite tuna is about 10 times lower in mercury than that of the FDA limit which is 1.00 ppm, that is, parts per million. Their wild albacore is about 2.5 times lower than that of the FDA limit when it was measured. The safe catch tends to cook the tuna just once while they are in the can because it retains more healthy oils, the chief operating officer Kevin McKay said. But other brands cook their tuna twice. They first prepare them on racks where the oils are allowed to drip away, then they are again fried in the cans. The End
What do you think about this video? Kindly comment below and stay tuned to this channel for more interesting updates.